Hello everyone, this is Devin Adams. Uh, I am an FCT instructor here at uh, Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide and here is another video to kind of help with your NSC4 test lab that we've been building. So uh, you might have noticed if you watched my previous videos, it was driving me nuts, but my Windows machines and even my Linux boxes were all coming up with the wrong time. Um, natively just when I dragged and dropped them in here so after doing some research and I know there's probably several options on how to correct this I found a quick and easy way to to accomplish this so um, just kind of a basic understanding of what's going on here uh, essentially these virtual machines using the KVM um, type hypervisor using QEMU are getting their system time from the GNS3 VM um, not from our actual host machines. So, and I know there's probably some argument that you can put in on the KVM field. There might be some way to do like a, um, you know, a VM tools to sync downwards. But you know what? I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So this is to help correct your your time on your Windows machines, on your Linux boxes, and GNS3. So, uh, and this is really going to be important because once again, I'm working up to a uh, pretty long video series on how to correct system errors and making certs and and we want to make sure that our system times correct so uh, let's go ahead and do it so our goals for this quick demo slash lab are going to be checking our date and time on the GNS3 VM all right and we're going to accomplish this by typing in these commands right here it's time date CTL space status so uh, I'll actually zoom in here so you can pause it if you guys need to, to copy that down. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, list the time zones that are compatible with this command. And we do that by time, date, CTL, list time zones. And it's going to display a long list of time zones. And then here's the example that I used to fix mine was date, time, control, set, time zone, and then I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona, so I picked America, uh, excuse me, forward slash Phoenix. And then, believe it or not, guys, uh, I went ahead and I, I loaded up GNS3, and I saw that my uh, domain controller and all my Windows machines grabbed the correct time, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm recording a video. I'm going to show them how to fix this because it was driving me nuts. Anyways, so let's go ahead and do it. So after that, we're going to configure it and verify the date and time. So step one, checking the GNS3 VM. So go ahead and load up VMware Workstation. And if you uh, wake up GNS3, you should have this little welcome screen. And we've been here before. But we're going to hit OK. And this time, we're going to go down to the shell. We're going to open a console. So here we go. We're at the command line. And we're going to type in that first command. All right, now mine's fixed. I, w <laughs> I wasn't going to revert it back, um, but uh, this is how you can check if your GNS3 VM doesn't have the right time. So uh, just do a time, date, CTL, status, all right? And what was happening here is that the local time was the same as universal time, all right? And that's why all my machines, when they're booting up, were grabbing the universal time, all right? So... Uh, to fix this, I went ahead and did a time, date, C, T, L, list, time zones. I kind of auto-completed that last part. And as you can see, you're, you're going to pick the one that's closest to your area. So um, there should be an option there that should be in your time zone. I picked the one that was Arizona Phoenix. And to get out of there, just do a control C. And then I did a uh, time, date, C, T, L set time zone America and you can actually auto complete this see how it's gonna now display all the 147 possibilities in America I'm gonna hit no but you can start typing in your area and then you can tab complete it uh, if you don't want to type it out completely so we hit OK and you're actually logged into this VM as root that's why the sudo command is not required and uh, you can just go ahead and do a, a, a time date CTL status again just to verify that it does have your local time correct bloop okay so and I did not even need to set up any of the NTP options it had the correct time um, already so maybe I'd do that if, if it was getting out of sync but it, it's not so uh, anyways once that was done uh, you can get back to that menu by typing and 
is it quit or exit? It might just be exit. Exit? Yeah, it's exit to get back. You might have to do it a couple of times to get back to the screen, but we're done with uh with that business. So now that that's done, boot up your lab, right? Boot up all your machines, and lo and behold, guys, um, yay! Believe it or not, that is my system time. Um, it's fixed. I felt like kissing someone. I'm I'm sitting here alone at work. So, anyways, guys, <laughs> that's how you correct your your NSC4 lab time, uh, so you can go forward and not have to worry about. Um, resetting that clock before we sign our certs and all that good stuff. So, all right, guys, I hope that was helpful for somebody out there. And good luck with your NSC uh, 4 lab. So until next time.